Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Baina. I'm an interior designer and style coach and we are in my living room. A space that I have been decorating with you on this channel. Is it done? No. Is it perfect? No. Do I love it? Yes. And we are sitting here on my beloved velvet swivel chair, which was the first thing that I found. <sighs> Got it upholstered and it's like literally one of my favorite things. So I thought it would be fun to share five or six different dupes of my giant swivel chair that are available now and actually in stock. Now, if you're not in the market for this kind of a vibe, just watch because I'm going to be sharing some stores that you've never heard of that are kind of style specific. And I think, you know, I always assume everybody knows what I know, but they don't know what I know. So I'm gonna share stuff that you might not know and you might want to watch to see what that is, okay? Also, take my freestyle quiz if you haven't done so already. It's a great resource for you to improve your decorating style. And on Wednesday, I'm coming out with these new digital style guides, one for floor plans and how to figure out open concept rooms and awkward spaces, a lot of great details on that, and how to mix furniture of different styles, guys. Also how to create a mood board, like the mood boards that I do. There's just so much. How to use paint color, I'm sharing my paint colors. That's coming out, you're going to love it. More on that soon. Oh, you're literally gonna be like really excited, hopefully. So the first one is something I'm currently obsessed with and I have recommended to some of my clients. This is the Jillian chair from Urban Outfitters. Guys, Urban Outfitters is literally a gold mine for the boho style and modern eclectic style. Those are two results on the style quiz. Now, here's the thing about Urban Outfitters. They always have cool stuff, on trend, great design. It's in the anthropology family, but it's at the lower price point, okay? It's targeting a younger audience. So you have to read the reviews with Urban Outfitters. Some is great and some of the quality is whatever. So that's just, that's just what you have to know about Urban Outfitters, but it's definitely a resource that I go to all the time. So I love this chair. This is not a swivel, however, but I just had to include it because I'm kind of obsessed with it. I think style-wise it's perfect. I can still see this in the Scandinavian modern Japan D vibe. I feel like even if you're not really wanting to do that full on contemporary look, like this could easily be paired with like a neutral sofa, but I'm in love with this and it's really coming in at an amazing price point and it's in stock, okay? Second option is a little funkier. I had to include it because I actually really like this company. Um, this is Cardiel and this is called the Glove Velvet Chair. And this is for the modern eclectic style person, someone who likes the mid-century style. I first found Cardiel because I was looking for my sofa before I found my gold velvet sofa. And they had this like modern day bed in the rust color that I really actually considered getting. And then I even ordered their fabric sample. The textile quality is definitely Baina approved. So this chair is not in this color. It's a slightly more caramely color. But if this is one of their fabrics, then I say this company is definitely worth checking out. And in case you're curious, this is the uh, rust and it's 100% polyester. So I think this would be a good option for like kids or dogs or whatever, just like durable. Okay, so the next one is a swivel chair that is not exactly like mine, but it has the vibe, okay? Totally 1970s, totally glamor, but understated. And this one's in a neutral color. This is the Canyon Swivel Armchair in Cream from High Fashion Home. High Fashion Home is an amazing resource, guys, especially for those of you that are transitional, someone who likes maybe more of a limited palette, cleaner lines, matching. Transitional is between modern and traditional, okay? It's not funky, it's not eclectic. It has a little bit of glamor, but it's like simpler, but it's, it's a great style. So High Fashion Home is one of the top stores for that style. I have ordered from them before for some of my clients. We ordered this like really nice sideboard. It was a big purchase and it was very high quality. And the price of this chair is actually extremely competitive. I even like the color of the plinth. That's what that thing is called underneath it that hides the swivel, okay? I like that antique brass color. That looks expensive to me, that combination, at least from the pictures and stuff. So you can check that out, link will be below. Okay, so this next one is on a couple of different sites. It's on Lulu in Georgia, which is a good interior design site to know. A little bit higher price point coming in around $1,000, but it has reviews. So that's always super important. I think I'll insert a screenshot of the review. To me in this picture, 
that rust looks really nice. It looks good quality and I like the scale of the chair. I personally think these chairs look better when there is a pair and I like the color of it. It's a little leaning more towards the red, but I think if you are in the market for something like this, I mean, I would strongly consider this option. The next one, I really like the clean lines of it. This is from West Elm. What we're doing here is we're getting those clean lines that are happening right now, but I feel like it's a pretty versatile chair that could fit in with a lot of different decorating styles. It's feminine, but not overly. And it's also upholstered in the Aster Velvet line. I've had these two colors for forever. They're in the Aster line. I think they discontinued this color, which is a real shame because this was like, honestly, my favorite color for forever. It has a little bit of shine, but sort of a matte finish. And I just, I just think it's gorgeous. I really like the idea of pairing maybe two of these chairs with the six penny linen style sofa, like a slip covered, linen sofa, I feel like would look very elegant with these chairs. And you, if you did like maybe a traditional rug, you could lean it more towards like elevated farmhouse, like contemporary could be really interesting. And then my last find and recommendation for you guys is an actual dupe. This is a 1970s in the style of Milo Bowman swivel chair with an upholstered plinth. Okay. So this one's on Etsy. They have five star reviews and 68 sales. So I would, you know, think about it and everything. I would look through all of the reviews on the Etsy, read all of them, see the pictures. It'll usually show you the original seller's picture and then the review picture. If someone chose to upload a review picture, I always like to compare those to see how close they are to the original photo. If you were interested in this and wanted to get this, I would send the message to the seller and just say where you are, what's the estimated lead time, because the only downside about this listing is it's saying estimated arrival January to February. I mean, that's weird. So I'd have to find out more information, but I wanted to include it because the price is so good and it's kind of such the vibe that we're talking about right now. So I will link all of those products down below. Just wanted to share my style with you guys. If you're sort of inspired by some of the things that I'm doing and also introduce new stores and new styles into your world. Plus Black Friday is coming up, so you just never know. But that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed already. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye.